What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Johnson, and today we're going to be taking a look at what may be one of the best video lights for YouTubers. Let's get into it. This light was sent to me by a company called GVM, which stands for Great Video Maker. This particular product is called the G100W Bicolor LED. In this video, we are going to take a look at this light. We're going to unbox it. We're going to set it up. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons, as well as who this light is for. This kit comes with everything that you need to have a high quality key light source for your videos. Out of the box, this light comes with a carrying case, a cone, a power cable, the light, a foldable light stand, and a soft box. Let's go ahead and set it up. Start by unfolding the light stand. Make sure that the legs are set pretty wide because this is a heavier light. Then mount the light to the light stand. Take the soft box fabric and place it onto the umbrella. Flip it upside down and push it down. As you are pushing it down, make sure that the softbox fabric is not Velcroed all the way. It needs to have a little bit of flex to it. The umbrella poles should bend out, pushing the softbox into place. The umbrella has a little clamp at the bottom, so as you are pushing it down, you'll need to push it far enough so that this little piece attaches to the clamp. Once it's clamped and in position, go ahead and Velcro it and line up all the umbrella poles with the matching seams. Line up the three rectangular pieces from the softbox with the light. Go ahead and push it in and then turn it to lock. Plug in the power cable and flip the switch to turn the light on. All right, let's talk about some of the pros of this light. For starters, it is dimmable, which for me, that's a must have for video lights because it really allows you to control the brightness and the darkness of your main light source. Not only is it dimmable, but it is also by color, which is fantastic because this means you can actually control the color temperature of the light to match your environment. Plus, the dials on the light itself are very smooth and very nice to use. The output of this light is the main reason why this is such a great light. It is super bright, it is super soft, and it's very flattering, very cinematic. It looks fantastic. An interesting thing about this light is that you can use it without the softbox too. If you put that little cone adapter on it, it almost becomes a little bit more of a spotlight. So it's a pretty versatile light to have in your arsenal of gear. The light also has smartphone integration, which will allow you to fully control it from your phone. All in all, this is an amazing light, but let's talk about some of the negatives. For me, one of the initial downsides is that this light cannot be battery powered. If you have watched my other lighting videos, you know how much I love battery powered lights or at least lights that are capable of being battery powered because then you can go shoot anywhere on location and you don't need to have power to get some awesome light. And in more of a studio setting, you don't have to worry about tripping over cables or you know, hiding them from your shot or looking for the nearest outlet. None of that really matters. You can just position it anywhere when lights are battery powered. Another downside to this light is it is actually pretty heavy and pretty big. If you are working in a smaller space, like maybe a smaller bedroom or a smaller home office, this could potentially be an issue because the light could just take up most of your actual space. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of this light and one of my flapjack lights. As you can see, it's a pretty big difference. Another issue that I didn't expect is that this light actually generates some noise. It has a fan on the inside of it, which helps cool the light, but one of the downsides is it generates a little bit of a hum. So if your microphone is placed close enough to the light, it may be picking it up a little bit. You can remove this in post, but it is just another step that you'll have to take in your process. One of the biggest downsides of this light for me personally is that it was a little bit tough to get set up. Now, I don't think this is necessarily a huge issue, especially if you're someone who's going to be leaving it set up in your space all the time, then that's not gonna be an issue at all. But if you're someone who you know is doing freelance work, maybe you're working on location on projects and you wanna bring this with you, you'll have to account a little bit of time 
and a little bit of, you know, maybe frustration to get this thing set up. I'm sure that the process of setting it up gets easier over time and the more that you do it, but I know for me, I almost snapped my fingers doing it. So just something to think about. Now that we've unboxed the light, we've got it set up and we've talked about some of the pros and cons, let's talk about who this light is for. If you are a YouTuber or a studio-based content creator, then this light is top notch. If you are in a controlled environment and it's a little bit of a bigger space and it's something that you can leave set up all the time, then this light is a fantastic option. If you are a freelancer or somebody that's shooting on location a lot for client work, taking it to different setups where you're doing a lot more run and gun styled shoots, I don't necessarily think this is the best option, but it is still a pretty great option. It isn't horrible to take with you. It can pack down pretty small. It just takes a little bit more effort to get it set up. In my opinion, I think that this is one of the best key lights available, especially for the price. Despite some of the cons, the pros are still very strong. And ultimately this light just looks awesome. And that's really what matters the most. If you are in the market for a powerful, soft cinematic light, this is one of the best options available right now. All right, everybody, that's going to about wrap up this video. I hope that you have enjoyed this and found some value from it. If you are interested in purchasing this light or checking out some of the other gear that I use, I've gone ahead and placed a bunch of links down in the description as a resource to you. Before you guys leave, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. Peace.